and I, th I think we're probably just going to leave it at that. But, uh, you know, obviously I respect him as a fighter. Like, to get in the ring, billions of people can't do that. People, a lot of people can't do that. It's just, it's not easy, especially as a pro fighter. Like, it's ridiculous. So, you know, like, respect is there. But, uh, you know, obviously he's going to do his thing. I'm going to do mine. Uh, and we'll just leave it at that. Hey, JJ, you know, you talk hey. about JJ, yeah. uh, that moment. Talk, talk about that moment when uh, Raheem asked you, you know, is it, is it kind of over? You kind of had to think about it a little bit, you know, emotions were still. Just talk about that moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say, like, yeah, emotions were high. Uh, you know, I had, I had my uh, piece out of Shannon. Uh, yeah, man, I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't really. Um, rock with him but uh yeah obviously i had my piece of logan as well and i just had my piece of a lot of people like oh like i saw i was just thinking but you know what i was like i have to respect him i have to respect him for getting in that ring it takes a lot to get in there so you know i can't i can't buy a mouth on that front so hey, you, you are a promoter you do a lot of different things are you interested in doing more fights of this nature yeah, I think the, the great thing about this fight was that they both respected the sport. I think both of them fell in love with the sport. Both of them gave it everything. They studied the sport. They turned pro. They did their drug testing. They did their medicals, etc., etc. So it's not just a case of, oh yeah, who wants to go in next, you know? And I don't know what KSI is going to do next. You know, boxing-wise, I've had six or seven of the highest profile people you could find in their fields wanting to fight the winner, which I talked to him about, I gave him that little bit of uh, <laughs> tease yesterday, and we'll talk more on that with Liam, but for now, it was just a brilliant event, you know, and one thing I'll say is that we wanted to merge the audiences so that the professional, or the, the, the long-term professionals could show the new audience what was great about the sport, and it ended up being their fight that showed the audience what was great about the sport, which was heart, determination, will to win, and also respect as well. So my question is then, KSI, you yeah. say you don't want a third fight, but do you want to continue boxing? I mean, you know, if the right fight is there, then of course I'll take it. Like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be smart. You know, I'm a businessman at the end of the day as well, and I'm not gonna just take random fights that make no sense. I'm gonna take a fight that makes sense. And uh, I'm always pushing the boundaries with everything that I do. So if there's something that you know makes me want to push the boundaries some more, then yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, Two so more questions, guys. And then we'll uh, were you surprised at all from where I was sitting? At least it sounded like you had far more fans. Were you surprised being you know the the outside fighter with the bigger support uh, here in LA? Uh, well, I mean, I, I know Logan doesn't really have too many fans here. He kind of just has a lot of people that just watch what he does, but. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, like, it's, yeah, it is, 